Should we learn how to play vibrato today? Yeah, why not? Okay. First exercise for vibrato is relaxing your fingers and moving your joints. So make sure that your fingers are really relaxed and then you can move this tiny bit of your finger is really flexible. Make sure to relax your fingers and try it again and again with the fingers of your left hand. So the fingers of your right hand are moving around the fingers of your left hand. You can try the same thing <laughs> the other way around just to make sure that your whole body is relaxed. It's very important, especially when you do vibrato. Now that your fingers are totally relaxed, we're going to try and find a third position. We can do it by playing the open A string and finding the third finger on A string in the first position. Let's try to do that again. And now play the open A string and shift into the third position at the same time. So while you're playing on the open A string, your arm is sliding up into the third position. Try it again. Now that you found the first finger in a third position, let's play a couple of notes there. D, E, F sharp, and G. We're on A string. You can go also try to play them on a D string and on a G string. On a G string we have C, D, E and F. On a D string we have G, A, B and C. A string D, E, F sharp and G. And the E string, A, B, C sharp, and D. We're going to try and do our vibrato exercise on the A string. Put your first finger there. Make sure you found the right note, it's the D. If you're not sure, you can compare it with the open D string. Now, relax your arm and start moving it back and forth back and forth. So to and fro, relax it completely and make sure that your finger is moving and that your thumb is not moving. That's very important because if you suddenly start moving your whole arm, including your thumb, your violin will start jumping around and we don't want that. Let's try our first vibrato exercise. Relax and keep counting. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Or you could count one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Do the same thing with the second finger. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the third finger comes next. Pinky. At the beginning, you might find it really hard to practice with your pinky, but keep doing it on a daily basis and you'll notice how it will keep getting easier and easier. This is all about being relaxed and at the same time not moving your arm around too much. Otherwise, it will sound like this. We don't want that. We also don't want our violin to jump around. You have to find the right balance between staying relaxed and at the same time not moving around too much. You probably want to know why we're practicing this vibrato exercise in a third position. It's because as a beginner you'll find it really difficult to practice it in the first position because if you want to practice it in the first position you have to move your hand away from the neck of the violin so that you have space here to move around and most beginners find it really hard that's why in a third position we automatically have more space here and we don't go against the pegs right so here we have a little bit more space we can get used to 
also going away a little bit farther away from the neck of the violin for some reason beginners find it easier to do it in a third position than in a first position and that's why we're doing it in a third position you could also practice it in a fourth or in a fifth position yeah there you also have a lot more space than in a first position if you find it too hard to count and practice at the same time just simply put your metronome on and practice with it rhythmically you can also speed up the whole process but don't do that on a first day the following exercises I will show you are for people who've been practicing vibrato for one or two weeks without speeding up. So let's get started now and you can try it with me or you can come back later and after practicing vibrato for one two weeks you can try to play together with me over the metronome or both. Remember to keep relaxing your fingers also when you don't practice violin if you're sitting at school and you have nothing to do or at work or during your break make sure you relax your fingers and that will make your vibrato exercise much easier and much more fun because it's generally much more fun to practice with relaxed arms with a relaxed body you can focus on what matters and you create great results in the shortest period of time. I hope you found these exercises really helpful. If yes, remember to subscribe so that we can stay in touch and also watch this video and that video down there. And I'll see you again in the next video. Are you still there? Well, remember to subscribe. I'll count until 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10.